Hello and welcome back to another Uncle Tat's Creative Shack video. Here we are looking at the Lego Movie 2 pop-up party bus, set number 70828. It has 1,024 pieces, a couple of mini dolls, and some buildable figures, including the um, Disco Kitty and some Hippopotamus thingy that's in the front. Uh, <laughs> so it's got quite a lot of pieces. This is a hefty, hefty build when you're done a lot of engine detail here really like the turquoise with the uh, salmon color along with this uh, magenta color we got large decal right there or sticker there's another sticker right here coming around the front i love this large uh, transparent purple canopy piece there's a sticker for the license plate uh, on the bottom let's see if i can't zoom out for that there you go there's a sticker down here on the license plate um, coming around this side, you know, again with that large sticker there, it's a large, uh, smaller sticker there. We'll take a look at the minifigures, or the, well, we'll take a, we'll take a look at the inhabitants later. I'm not really crazy about the minifigures, but this, we'll take a look at that later. So, what we have is just a very large party bus, and by that I mean it can transform into a, I don't know, disco setting i guess so we start off with opening up the canopy on the top and let me zoom out a little bit for you so there's the canopy here that opens up on the top we have a gigantic mast here well, this actually has a I'm to, you know, there we go there's a ball here a mast and then we have speaker assemblies on either side we have a dance floor that comes down this way and we have another dance floor that goes that way so let's get back into it there we go lot and lot and lot of stuff going on here with this party bus so we'll go ahead and spin it around a little bit you can definitely see it's got uh Nice building techniques to get the curves in here. Let's see if we can't get all the way around in the... No, the one side won't let me. There we go. Okay. And if we take the cockpit off the front. There we go. That's the buildable, whatever it is. Zebu or something like that. Okay. So, the biggest thing about this, I guess, would be the whole light-up feature. So let's try to get a good view of that. The light-up feature is when you push in on this engine in the back. Let's see. You gotta really push hard. There we go. See if you can see that. And then if you turn it at the same time that you push in, You've got some disco style lights going on in there. Okay, I'll show you how the, the dance floor all moves around. We can put, I am not a fan of these mini dolls, but go ahead. That's Melody, and we'll zoom in. Okay, so there's our Melody, we'll go ahead and Start the disco, and there it is. Now you can only turn it as far as your uh, fingers allow you to. Then you have to like re-grip it to turn it again. You know, eventually you run out of finger space, but you get the idea. Okay, we'll see it from this angle over here. Okay. Up in the DJ booth, we have uh, a mini, another mini doll named Tempo, and he is, well, effectively keeping the tempo. <laughs> uh, he's got a couple of printed record pieces, printed record pieces with some of those one by one studs with a handle on it to represent the needles. Tons of speaker speaker assemblies here. 
and he can fit just like that he can stay in that spot when you close the whole bus up he does not get in the way of anything so and you can close up the speakers around him like this you can close up the canopy like that and he can stay exactly the way he is um, over on the other dance floor over here I'll try to zoom in on that one there's a, another sticker right here just represents maybe some you know digital graphics so you can you know time yourself with the beat as you're dancing there are tons tons and tons of these one by one round plates transparent plates um, and in the stud fashion as well including I'll uh, get the disco ball on the way here including all the ones that you have to put on this there's four sides and the top it'd be kind of cool if this lit up as well but it doesn't uh, there's no there's no way to make it light up but it would be kind of a neat uh, a neat feature but yeah that can go right in there you can still keep that tempo minifigure in there uh, you do not have to take him uh, mini doll I should say you don't have to take him out you can leave in melody on the bottom you can close that up and then And there you have it. That is the bus, of course, with the uh, disco form of Unikitty. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mini dolls and the other figure assemblies uh, in more detail. So the mini dolls in this set include Melody on the left and Tempo on the right. Melody's got a uh, microphone in her hand and you do get one extra one of those in the set tempo has got a I'm guessing it's a beverage uh, maybe a water or some sort of uh, cooler or some sort of drink um, it's just a one by well it's a one by it's a cylinder piece with a clear top on it with a handle um, I really don't like these main dolls they look good don't get me wrong, the printing is good on them, but it's to me it's just not Lego. Melody's got like the raspberry uh, style hairpiece. And uh, they've got some good, you know, they've got paint applications on him. You can see on Tempo he's got some paint applications on his leg. Melody's got her shoes. Um, they've got more paint applications. There's a lot of paint applications on their um on their bodies but they're just uh their hair pieces are separate the head is separate the torso is separate from the legs so there are a few pieces that you do have to put together to make these uh mini dolls and you know for the younger kids you know i can see where these are just fine perfect you know you can get um you can get into the lego set with uh figures that have just a different range of, of posability than the actual lego minifigure um is concerned but yeah so there's your melody and tempo and this is disco kitty so disco kitty is definitely she's got the lady gaga style boots on with some printing the stars are printed and of course the little blue there to separate the heels is printed uh, her head is exclusive to this set anyways with the glasses um, and of course her tail which is printed on all, all these pieces with the exception of the head are printed on both sides which is really good so when you spin it around her boots on the other side are, are printed as well as the tail. Um, I really like that. They could have they could have just printed on one side, um, you know, like with the face and not have a, obviously you wouldn't have a secondary face here. They could have just printed on one side of these bricks and called it done, but they, they printed on both sides, which is really good. So, yeah, she's definitely, uh, she's rocking the party here, ready to go. Last and certainly least for me is this thing called ZB. This is pretty much a built-up uh, figure using blocks and plates. We have a printed uh, two by two. Actually, it's well, it's two by one deep by two tall uh, brick there that's printed, and then the rest of all this is just basically just bricks. And something you could do if you bought pieces off the pick a brick wall and put it all together. So it's not doesn't really do anything for me at all. I mean, it actually, does nothing for me at all. Um, but it is canon to the film, and he just drops right into the cockpit of this, this bus, and you can just leave him right there and call it a day. And here's the pop-up party bus, complete with all the figures uh, that come with this set. 
the problem is, is you have all this dance floor space with no minifigures. Dance floor space over here, here, here. You've got your disco kitty at the top. You've got your mini dolls here, one for the DJ booth, one as a singer. You've got the ZB thing that's driving the thing. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, the dance floor looks kind of, there's nothing going on. Well, have no fear. Uncle Tat has a surprise for this video. Bam, we are going to outfit this super empty pop-up party bus with this set here. This is also from the Lego Movie 2, just 50 pieces. It actually has minifigures. Oh, Sparkle Babies is called the uh, Good Morning Sparkle Baby set. And what a perfect set to add to this. Since there is nothing going on inside that bus, we're going to do that. So, without further ado, let's get rid of the bus just for now. Okay. And, hey, you know what? This can be like a double... A double set review because now we're going to take a look at this set here let's get it zoomed in there we go so you've got a little bit of terrain off to the side with some weird you know flower pieces you've got your sparkle babies there they are on the side looks like they say the actual size you got a turquoise one and a pink one so without further ado let's go ahead and open this up No numbered bags or anything, but that's okay because there's really not a lot of pieces. I'm sure we can figure this all out. There we go. Okay.
Well, look at that. I gotta reassemble this thing. <laughs> hey, Uncle Tats, Uncle Tats, Uncle Tats. This is why Legos are for kids, right? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay. A couple extra pieces in the set. Though this is an extra. What is this? Everything is awesome. A popular band. That can go into Lucy's hand. See? This is why it's perfect for the disco party pop-up bus. But this is the feature. So, <laughs> this is what you get. You have the ability to launch one of your babies on a star. <laughs> and it's, surprisingly enough, it's pretty fun. It's very simple. Oh, he didn't go too far. Yeah, just toss him in there. Kind of comes right back to you, doesn't he? Really got to... There you go. Well, that's just it. The terrain feature is, eh. That's ancillary, although it is cool to get these pieces in the different colors. That's kind of, eh, could care less about that. And last but not least, here's what happens when you flesh out the interior with your uh, wild style and a sparkle baby in the back. She's got a drink in one hand and she's got her uh, a popular band album along with a sparkle baby. See, that makes sense. Now you have somebody there. 
And of course, Emmett. Unfortunately, these turntables don't spin, you know, the same way this one in the back does. It's not, they're not connected, unfortunately, but you get the idea. You can kind of come off to one side and spin just one gear over here. They're all connected. Yeah, see, now you've got people in the party bus. And you could put even more people because you could put somebody on one of those purple things there. So you could see you'd have tons, well, not tons, but you'd have definitely lots of different uh, ways of styling, you know, having your people party here. And, of course, up top we have the star hanging out with Disco Kitty up here. And, yes, so there we go. That's the end of it. That is the Lego Movie 2 pop-up party bus complete with the Sparkle Babies, uh, Emmett, and Lucy uh, minifigures. So thanks for watching. This is a long video, but thanks for watching. It was I had fun doing it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. One more final view on this. Uh, one of some things I forgot to mention when I first uh, started this video. We've got actually some winglets on the side here. And you might have noticed the, you know, the texturing and what happened here. These winglets actually move out. And let's see if I can see. They've got some more engine detail on the bottom. And this one moves out as well. They also have, it's hard to get in there with the camera, a trans pink cone piece. So it's not just, you know, a party bus. It's also, obviously, with all this engine detail back here, it's also really a, a spaceship, as far as I'm concerned. Um, in the movie, that's pretty much how they're using it. You can see a lot of this grill detail back here is actually a painted chrome or painted silver piece uh, in between the engines there. So that was missed on the first time around with the video. But also, now that I have it all closed up, I want to show you that as it's all closed up, you can fit all your minifigures in here. You've got, you can barely see her in there. There's Melody. We'll pop her out. She has a, uh, one of those uh, plates with the minifigure uh, acceptable legs um, pieces holding her in place. There she is. You've got your, you know, that ZB guy here. And I'll take that cockpit off. We can see that one more time. So if we slide him, he just slides in and out, and I say that now, but there we go. And it's got a steering wheel, a control stick, and some sort of star. Yeah, not much else to see there, but he just really just slides in. That's it. Um, so yes, you can keep all your party goers in here. We'll go ahead and do this again. That is the top disco ball we have the back dance floor and I like what they did here the trans purple but then they they tiled it off in purple as well to make it look like it is like a seamless uh, transition and they did that on both sides um, you can pop out your speaker stands and there is tempo and then when you pull down the big disco floor there's how you have everybody in there. So you've got Emmett and a Sparkle Baby. You've got another Sparkle Baby, Lucy, Unikitty, and then Star. And of course, I moved Unikitty and Star up here onto this dance floor. Okay. But this way here, and if you have Emmett sitting down like that, when you fold him all up, everybody folds inside the party bus, so you do not have to worry about where you're going to keep the minifigures to go with this. There we go. And then around on this side, see it does the same thing here with the trans purple uh, windscreen, and then it finishes it off with these nice tiles. And for Zebu or ZB, I guess, for his final canopy, it just kind of snaps in place up top. Hard to do it with one hand. I got the camera in the other. There we go. And that's it. I just wanted to show you that it did, it did have these, or it does have these 
strange winglets on the side that can be put down I'm guessing for while it's driving and put up while it's flying there we go all set all right see you next time guys bye bye